as a veteran, I'd be curious just to hear your thoughts and take on uh, the NFLPA proposal to do away with OTAs and have the longer ramp up potentially to uh, training camp. Yeah, I was just talking to some people about that. Uh, I have my, my preferences on that. Um, I don't think that's particularly uh, my preference. It makes the season that much longer, you know, putting another month ahead of it. Um, if we could break it up maybe a little bit better, we could maybe work with something like that. But we'll see what goes on with that and how much it progresses. They also talked about maybe going to 18 games at some point in the future. Would you be in favor of an 18-game schedule and having a Super Bowl on, on President's Day? Another game equals more money? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, all, all depends. Uh, we'll see how that goes, too. You talked about lengthening the, the season, not, not with the 18th game, but with this, you know, if you're starting camp at the end of June. Is, did you get the sense that a lot of veterans kind of feel like you do? Oh, yeah, I've, I've talked to some of them. I know a couple of weeks ago we had a little conversation with about 10 of us guys, and and we had talked about it um, and just some better ways to go about it or different ways to go about it and what people uh, liked um, over, you know, that certain one that they talked about doing that in June or, you know, July. Um, but, you know, just breaking it up a little bit gives everybody an opportunity to enjoy, you know, a little bit of July and most of June, and that's when people are doing a lot of fun family things. So we'll see where that goes and how it progresses here within the next couple of weeks. Joseph What's your Trevor thoughts was. on the defense so far and the way it's coming together? Yeah, I loved it, man. Coming back to this type of defense uh, with Coach E and Pete uh, and some other guys, it's been awesome. Uh, really, you know, these uh, this last couple of weeks have been great to um, you know get to know the guys, um, you know, feel each other out a little bit, communicate, um, and you really just be able to move and understand where people are going to be. So, you know, it's been it's been very valuable for us. Trevor Wall has kind of developed a reputation as being a bruiser in college. What have you seen from him so far? And I know y'all can't go full speed yet, but what has he kind of shown you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably going to happen again here in the next couple of weeks or probably actually in July, you know, when we start training camp and stuff like that. Uh, smart kid, uh, understands ball, and uh, I'm excited to see what he can do this year. But uh, he's he's impressed people so far. We talk a lot about whenever somebody joins, oh, you know, he has familiarity with this coaching staff. How much does that matter when you're coming into a new organization, when you have that familiarity and you're able to kind of hit the right. ground running? Yeah, I mean, I'm already coming to a bunch of new things. Um, you know, new players to play with, new people upstairs. Uh, so to have the uh, familiarity with the co some of the coaching staff is amazing for me. Uh, and picking up the old lingo that we used to have in Denver um, is big, and it just you know gives me a step up from you know where I'd be without you know those coaching staff that I, uh, coaching staff that I had hadn't been with. So um, for me, you know, the famili familiarity is is big, and it just helps me be able to feel comfortable um, and you know take big steps forward. So like working with a guy like Shaq Thompson, and how have you two kind of bonded since coming here? It's been awesome. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's uh, he's a vet, uh, understands ball, uh, great to talk to on, out on the field um, and on the sidelines. You know, fixing things. You know, maybe the the play prior, uh, maybe we didn't do something perfect, and we're going to fix on the sideline right away. And maybe if you're with a younger guy, maybe that doesn't happen as often or happen as quick. Um, and just fixing the problems, you know, uh, they occur at a faster. A faster pace with a vet like him, so it's been fun to communicate with him, uh, talk different defenses, different lingos, and understand ball. Your uh, impressions of Bryce Young so far? Good. I've uh, I've enjoyed going against him these last couple of days here. Um, excited where we can uh, where we can bring this team, you know, uh, this year. When do you know how good an offense can be when you're going against them? Is is that a training camp thing specifically? Are there, are there signs that you can see now? Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of science here and there, how fast they get the ball out, you know, uh, uh, what kind of stuff they're running. But uh, most of it's going to be in training camp, you know, when you're actually hitting, um, you know, people are pushing each other around uh, and getting a little more physical and stuff like that. So we'll probably see more of that in training camp. Uh, but you can see, you know, some of the starting part of it right now. How tight and friendly is this offense from what you've seen? That seems pretty. I mean, with all their boots and different, different actions, uh, they can definitely make the tight end open and uh, prioritize them. So... It'll be interesting where that goes for us. And how have you seen that maybe helping Bryce? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, it gives him the option of those short area throws. Um, I won't talk too much on offense since I'm on the defense side of the ball, but uh, you know they've been doing a great job so far, and Bryce holds a good presence in there, so it's it's fun to be watching him. Uh, it came out today that you guys are going to do joint practices with the Jets before that second preseason game. You do you like? 
how those break up camp, or do you not have a strong? No, I like them. Yeah, it's nice to get uh, some fresh bodies in there, some different guys, some different offenses to go against. Um, it'll test you, um, and it's it's good to get to know some different offenses, like I'm saying, and, and you just kind of feel more comfortable with doing that than when you move into week one of the regular season. So I enjoy them. I think they're very uh, valuable. You even be tested by a guy like Rogers in a practice setting type of right thing? right I mean because especially Bryce will probably get used to us with you know how we play our defense and it'll be nice to see a different quarterback uh, that maybe doesn't have the same reactions or same uh, you know maybe he looks off more looks off less um, and just to be able to uh, compare ourselves to him and get some different looks it's kind of off the wall but is there anything you like to do during the off season? that your contract won't allow you to do. <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble right here or what? <laughs> there are no. players who like doing stuff that are crazy, but they don't get to do it because. I don't even know. I mean, what what have you been, what is there that we can't do in our contract, I guess? I don't know what your contract says. I'm just curious what, I mean, maybe you like jumping out of airplanes or something. No, not yet. Uh, we'll save that for maybe a couple of years down the road. So no, for me, no, there's not anything. Um, I don't think there's anything. Maybe I need to reread some language on that. Uh, I appreciate that. I'll go do that today. Uh, but to my knowledge, there's nothing. Water skiing. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's it. Is that against it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be asking my agent really soon here. <laughs> Basketball, some players. I know some guys like to do that, but I, I'm sure it's probably not in their contract. Maybe it is. Probably get that X'd out it is. So. <laughs> what have you thought of Charlotte so far? I mean, uh, this is seems. I'm assuming it's a relatively new place for you. Yeah, I've been here one time prior, and that was in college. Um, I love it. Awesome people, great food. I've already been gaining a little bit of weight, so i got to watch myself out on that one a little bit. Um, but I've loved it. Uh, it's easy to get out of the city. The city's not too big. Um, I'm an outdoorsy guy, so uh, definitely enjoyed this part and uh, excited to see what you know the future holds and, and what other things I can enjoy here. What's your go-to food place here so far? to food place you're putting me on the spot on that one ask me in a couple weeks and I'll, I'll get you a good one I don't know yet I haven't I haven't indulged in all of them yet you played here in college was that a bowl game no it was for the uh, Charlotte like touchdown club or something like that it was a, an award ceremony